Rated M for Mature. Okay, you clicked on this video, and it's time to be honest. I'm gonna describe two types of Sniper Elite players. You let me know down in the comments which one you are. Are you a true Sniper Elite who clears a map from the highest vantage point, or a green player who breaks their stealth at the beginning of every mission? Hey, it's okay. We're all friends and fans here. It's good to know how different people approach the obstacles and objectives of this franchise, and that's exactly why today we're creating this handy guide. We've boiled down the methods and tactics we've seen across the Sniper Elite community into a handful of archetypes that you can use to recognize, or what you're really going to use it for, roasting your friends and fellow SE fans. Disclaimer, we're just providing the archetypes. What you do with this information, we are not responsible for. So now it's time to answer the age-old question. What kind of Sniper Elite player are you? The ghost. Between starting and completing a mission, not a single enemy was ever aware of your presence. Aside from a few footprints, you left the location exactly how you found it, and it's possible that you never pulled the trigger once. You are basically invisible. You are the ghost. Ghost players are highly admired in the community for their skill and knowledge of every map. However, though those epic clips and gameplay videos only show the final product. Reaching that level of skill takes hours upon hours and countless restarts before everything is securely burned into their gray matter. Ghosts also tend to play the game more like Sam Fisher than Carl Fairburn, often foregoing the sniping gameplay that the franchise was built on. But hey, it's a viable option. It's also not a good idea to get on the bad side of a ghost. You'll never see them coming. The Elite. Similar to a ghost, you're admired for your immense skill, and enemies never know you were even there. The difference is, while a ghost largely leaves enemies unharmed while completing objectives, Objectives, you don't. You have complete mastery over your weapons, and there's no amount of rain, wind, or distance that can cause one of your shots to miss. You are a true professional. You are an elite. Elite players do not mess around. They'll take down every enemy on their path from the best vantage point they can find. And anyone who gets in their way is at the mercy of their rifle scope. They put just as much time into the Sniper Elite games as other players, but not just to memorize the maps. They use their time to practice with every weapon in the game until those weapons become an extension of themselves. They're natural born killers with a controller and they love to invade other people's games in Sniper Elite 5. Just pray you don't cross paths with an elite. The Explorer. Yeah, yeah, the mission is important and all that, but just look at these maps. They're huge, and there's so much to see. For you, the objectives take a back seat while you take your time, making sure you uncover every nook and cranny of the map you're in. You have an unquenchable thirst for adventure. You are the explorer. Explorers may or may not have the skills to be a sniper elite, but they aren't all that interested in the action anyways. They just want to walk every path. Climb every tower and make a mental note of every detail they notice. These are the players who snatch up all the hidden items and collectibles in a mission on the first try and don't even break a sweat doing it. You probably won't be much help in a gunfight, but your adventurous spirit contributes to the diversity of the Sniper Elite community, and we thank you for that. Just please learn to use a scope. The Noob. Uh, maybe you're a little rusty. Maybe you have difficulty getting used to the controls. Hell, maybe you're brand new to the Sniper Elite franchise, but for whatever reason, you struggle to complete missions and you catch more bullets than Hitler's one remaining testicle. You are undeniably green. You are the noob. And you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Really, it's fine. We've all been there at some point, and even die-hard Sniper Elite fans have their rough days. You stumble, alert guards, and see more than your fair share of game over screens, but as long as you're having fun, who cares? All noobs have the chance to become elites with time and dedication, and we're cheering you on however you choose to succeed, or not succeed. Fumbling through missions can be a lot of fun too. 
Either way, send us your clips. They, uh, <laughs> make great content. The Action Hero. Blockbuster action films run in your veins. You've seen every Fast and Furious movie, like all 14 of them, or whatever number they're on now. John Wick is your uncle, and your ringtone is the 007 theme. You don't feel like you're really living unless adrenaline is pumping through your veins, and that means you're packing heavy firepower at all times. But like, only in video games. You are obsessed with explosions. In fact, when they go off, you turn around and walk the other way in slow-mo, because you are the action hero. Action hero players don't bother with stealth, silenced weapons, or anything else to avoid drawing attention to themselves. They want the attention, and they get it by going in as loud as possible and leaving a trail of broken bodies behind them. Now point the Panzerfaust away from us. Did we describe your Sniper Elite style? Let us know down in the comments and tell us if you'd like to see even more of these. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe for even more awesome Sniper Elite content. Until next time, stay sharp, shooters.